Good afternoon and welcome to weekly vlog number, I'm gonna guess 53, it's around there I think. It's been several months since I have weekly vlogged because I had a baby. She is napping right now and I'm crossing my fingers and toes that it lasts a while because mama needs a break. We are in the middle of coronavirus, COVID-19, quarantining, social isolation, all of that. Um, and I won't talk about that too much in this video because we're all just being totally inundated with it right now and I think we need a break. So I'm doing as well as anyone else is doing. I am, we're at home as much as possible. Riley's still going to work, but he works alone in a studio basically. He has a couple of coworkers, but essentially he works alone. And um, because of the way that his studio is set up, anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but he's still going to work. Me and Nora are basically not leaving the house at all. Um, I haven't left the house in probably about a week now. And just like everyone else, I'm bored, I'm lonely, I sort of feel like bashing my head through a wall some days, but at the same time, I'm just trying to make the most of it. <laughs> and like, just try to enjoy what I can. I think what's made it extremely difficult for me um, is that locally we have had torrential rain every day. I'm watching as I say this, the sun peek through the clouds and I'm so grateful. So when Nora wakes up, which hopefully is in a couple of hours, um, we might go take a little walk because I basically haven't even been outside in days and days because of the rain and thunderstorming. <clears throat> So it is March 18th, Wednesday, March 18th. It's almost three o'clock PM already, but we have had a slow, our days and nights just like spiral together right now because of everything that's going on. So um, we don't have any appointments. We don't have any play dates. We don't have it. Like we don't have anything going on. So um, I've been going to bed really late and then we've been getting up later and it's just all kind of a mess. But today's the first day that I decided to put on some light makeup and curl my hair because I was just feeling grungy from being at home for so many days, just wearing leggings and sweatshirts and totally just feeling like such a, such a hot mess. So now I'm like at least a little bit more pulled together. Anyway, I thought I would bring you guys along, although this doesn't really provide any more socialization, at least we can chat in the comments. So we got that going for us, <laughs> but um, yeah. Maybe I'll do this vlog, it's Wednesday, so maybe like Wednesday through Friday and I'll try to edit it this weekend and put it up like next Monday or something like that. So I have not eaten yet today at all and it's 2.40. I did not intend to do that. I usually try to make a real point of getting up and eating breakfast or at least eating brunch if it's like 11 or noon. But I haven't done any of that and I'm starting to get like lightheaded. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is go eat. Here's something funny and fun that we had, we did, did last night. Um, Shannon from WDW Prep School, she created these like March Madness brackets, but for Walt Disney World attractions. So this is Riley's, and so his final two contenders were Haunted Mansion and Soarin', and then he chose Haunted Mansion as his top choice. And then for me, my two top contenders were Flight of Passage and Soren, and I chose Flight of Passage. So those were our little brackets. You can go to her website, I'm sure, or her Facebook page, WDW, it's kind of cut off here, but it's WDWPrepSchool.com. She's like my favorite <clears throat> Disney World expert and has been for a long time. And I got to meet her and hang out with her when we were in Disney last May. But anyway, that was a really fun thing that we did last night. We were laughing about it. Just, you know, going through and choosing choosing all of our favorite attractions. Because at this point, you just got to find things that can pass the time. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I've been doing lately. Um, what I've been doing pretty much every day, like I said, is making a big brunch instead of eating breakfast and lunch. It's just easier for me to eat one big meal, maybe around 11, and then I'll just eat... Um, like a snack and then we'll have a bigger dinner um, just because having a baby right now and trying to cook and like eat real food it's just been challenging so this is what I've been doing is I pull everything out that I'm gonna have and so today I'm gonna have some sausage a couple of scrambled eggs I made these blueberry muffins the other day they are by their boxed mix from the brand Kodiak and their protein um, they're like made with whole grains and each one has like 15 grams of protein so they fill you up more than the average blueberry muffin um, I'm going to have some cut up strawberries. I'm going to 
put some butter in my eggs for some fat because I'm breastfeeding and also I always do that. Um, some Maybe a little bit of apple juice and then I'm gonna use milk to make a latte and I always do a splash of half and half in my scrambled eggs and put cheese on top. Um, one funny thing, <clears throat> one thing that I did not anticipate when I started my breastfeeding journey was how hungry I was going to be. I am so, so hungry, significantly more hungry than I ever was when I was pregnant, much, much hungrier than any time in my pregnancy. Um, <clears throat> so it's been one of those things where I have to really, I really, when I eat, I really need to eat a lot. And that can be really challenging when you have a little one because they don't always want to, you know, chill out so that you can make a bunch of food. So while she's asleep, I'm gonna make a nice big meal. It's literally three o'clock. This is so, this is the most realistic vlog you're gonna ever get. <laughs> this is how it is. Some days we're up and at them and some days I still haven't eaten and it's three o'clock. So I'm gonna grab something now, make this food. It'll be really yummy. And then um, I'll show you it once it's done. Okay, so I've been talking about my Nespresso machine ad nauseum. It is my favorite thing, but I am especially grateful for it while we're staying at home. So this is the milk frother and heater. So you just go ahead and pour milk. There's two lines. The top line is for if you want cold foam and if you want it heated up, then it's you do it to the bottom line. So that's what I want. So I put my milk in there and then I also put a couple of pumps of syrup in there. And then this you just turn and you just push and it will start pulling the espresso and then you just push this and then once this is heated and frothed and this the full espresso it's actually a double shot once the double shot has been pulled through yum I will combine them and it will be so yummy all right it is just about done so we'll give it another second the red light will go off once the milk is completely frothed. I will link, it comes together, This it's called an Arachino. This Arachino and then the Nespresso machine come together um, when you buy them on Amazon. And I have been joking, but I'm dead serious that it's been the best, the best investment we've made in years because we don't buy coffee out anymore. So then you just combine them yum and you have a delicious frothy coffee latte deliciousness without having to leave your house yum all right so here we go here's my 3 p.m breakfast we have a blueberry muffin some sausage eggs strawberries and a banana some apple juice and my latte and a little baby girl who woke up too early from her nap did you do that? Yeah. The little feet, I can't get over the little feet. We love this baby Bjorn. I will. She loves it so much. I will link it below if you're interested. Hey, good no no. Good girl. Good girl. All right, it's a little while later and I'm about to take Nora outside on a little W-A-L-K. And um, this is our Duna, and it is a car seat that expands to be a stroller, and then you can collapse the stroller and it becomes a car seat. It is by far, right, Nor Nor? By far our favorite um, baby gear item that we have by like a million points. I have absolutely loved it, especially with the postpartum I had, not having to carry or a heavy carrier, just being able to wheel it has been amazing. When Riley is home, we regularly take the two of them out together on a WALK, but unfortunately he's not home and it's hard for me to manage this and then if she needs me at all and then have Charlie. So Charlie's gonna stay home, plus it's sopping wet outside and I don't really feel like, anyway, we'll maybe take him out a little later tonight. All right, Charlie Bear. Charlie Bear, you want a treaty? Okay, sit. Charlie, sit. Good boy. We're outside taking a walk. We've been walking for probably about 20 minutes. It feels so amazing to get out of the house. It's been probably the first time in about a week that I've exited the house. And that, I don't mean just like gone anywhere. I mean literally left the house because it's been, as you can see, putting the rain on the sidewalk. It has been absolutely pouring down rain every single day. It's like a mud pit out here. But it feels so good to get outside, get some fresh air. 
it's pretty overcast, but just feel the breeze. It's about 77 degrees, so it's really warm. So I didn't even put socks on her just so her little toes could feel the fresh air because we've been so cooped up. And she's asleep. I'm gonna wake her up if I don't keep moving. Hey guys, it is, I'm not in focus. It's about 10 o'clock p.m. now and um, I'm about to wash my face. Um, hopefully because just because I'm getting ready for bed but also because um, there is a very high likelihood that there is a tornado heading our way and so we may let me see if I can set you up here. that's a little high isn't it um, we may have to go to my sister-in-law's storm shelter which I don't want to do for a variety of reasons number one it's torrentially raining and I don't feel like loading Nora up and going it's not very far but going across town to the tornado shelter this is a little bit high mm, that's probably a little low I'm sorry I've lost my vlogging touch um and so I don't want to do that. But then I also, the storm shelter is tiny and like so tiny. That's pretty good. It's super, super tiny. And I don't want to be in it with, it'll be like my sister-in-law, her husband, my brother-in-law, their three kids, me, Riley, and Nora, my, uh, my mother-in-law, my other sister-in-law. Like I just don't want to be, I haven't seen any of them. I've been like truly truly social distancing and I love them dearly but I don't really want to be in that close of quarters with like it's so tiny it's really claustrophobic <sighs> so I'm just gonna get ready um I'm just gonna take off my makeup and just wash my face so that I don't know it's just making me feel better so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm putting my hair back um Wow, this looks like I'm like some kind of ballerina situation. <laughs> Normally I don't care, but if I'm going to be filming. Gosh, it's like one thing after the other. I saw that Utah had a horrible earthquake with like 90 aftershocks today or something. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Um, sarcasm. And then we're getting like these horrible tornadoes and it's just like, ugh, it's awful. So the first thing I've been doing lately is using this cloth, which is, mine's from Grove, but it's one of these like magic makeup remover cloths. I know I have friends who have gotten them off Amazon, so I will link, I think you can get a three pack off Amazon. I have two or three of these from Grove and I alternate them, but, but it's this like really thick fleecy material. This just came out of the wash. So you get it wet and you kind of would bring it out and you will see. It takes off makeup so amazingly well. It's awesome. Oh, I don't want to go <laughs> to the storm shelter at 10 p.m. with my baby with like 15 other people. Uh, Riley said it looks like this storm is weakening. It's like south of us right now and it looks like it's weakening. And if it weakens enough, um, and we just stay with like a watch that we can stay here and just go into one of our interior rooms. Okay, so as you can see, this is just lightly wet. It's not drippy or anything. And you just take it and gently, and it like literally takes off all your makeup. It's so cool. Takes everything off so gently and so fast. It takes off non-waterproof mascara really, really easily. I'm wearing waterproof mascara today. It will take it off, but it doesn't take it off as well, I will say. Um, but it does take it off. And you just... See? That's like my fresh face. It's pretty awesome. So right now... For facial cleansing, I've been using this, the Say Yes to Cucumbers Gentle Milk Cleanser. I like it. It's gentle. It's moisturizing for the winter months. 
I'm gonna wash my face. Also, I really like the smell of this. It comes in body wash too. And I really like the body wash. I'm sure I'm gonna get like 500 comments of people telling me I'm not washing my face correctly, but like, I don't know. I've been doing it like this for 28 years, you know. Maybe not quite that long. It works well enough. Gosh, I'm like full of dread right now. I need to just be thankful that we have a shelter accessible to us if the need arises, because I know a lot of people don't have that. So at least we know we're gonna be okay if we have to go into a shelter. My sister-in-law gave me this. Um, it's like a rose water spray. So I've been doing that with it. Clearly I'm not. Right now I'm not overly concerned about my skincare, but like I said, that's on my, that was definitely one of the things, two of the things on my list for 2020. One of them was to, I, um, to go to my esthetician and get more regular facials and get like a really good product lineup of stuff that has really good active ingredients and stuff that really is going to help my skin, especially, you know, starting to prevent aging before it sinks in this is that rooted beauty night cream that i've been talking about all the time rooted beauty purifying overnight recovery cream i love this stuff it's like there we go super thick it feels really good on the skin and i have very dry skin and i feel like it really helps um so that's one thing that I want to do. I just like want to work on my skincare with, um, you know, someone in person who I can like sit and talk to and she can help me adjust throughout the year. And uh, my esthetician does my lashes. Well, she's not doing them right now because of postpartum hair loss, but she is who I'll work with. And then also the other thing is I'd like to get um, a local personal trainer or join. There was a place locally that does um, small group fitness for women um, because I just feel like preg between pregnancy and postpartum and now this being stuck inside I feel like I'm really weak um, and I'm doing like a few layers because I my skin was really dry today um, I just feel really weak and I'd like to get my strength back but I have to wait until <laughs> Some of this blows over because I am not going to take Nora with me. So the hard thing right now is that in, I'm going to kind of rinse this out and I just sort of use like the opposite side and then throw in the laundry and then use the other one. Um, but I do like rinse it out some. Anyway, what, was, what I was going to say is that starting in like mid-March, like right now, um, we were start gonna start having someone come and watch Nora a couple of days a week maybe two days a week um, just to give me some because she's on like not really a routine but like more of a routine than she's been she's about to be five months old and I feel comfortable leaving her with someone or even having someone be with her in the other room so that I have a chance to get some work done package Etsy orders like I was packaging Etsy orders this morning with her at home and it's just it's so so hard um, it's just really, really hard to do because she's still really young and she still needs a lot of love and attention. And so she'll be in her swing for 20 minutes. Or she'll play with toys for a few minutes, but like, I just need more solid blocks of time. So we are going to start doing that, but obviously the whole world shut down. So we don't have, um, anybody coming into the house right now at all, except for the people who live here. So that's not an option yet. So just sort of like still in this middle ground. Um, but those are three things I look forward to getting facials and getting a good skincare routine and maybe trying dermaplaning. If you've tried it, let me know what you think about it. I watch videos of it on Instagram all the time Two, getting some kind of local personal trainer kind of person and three getting, um, regular babysitting for my little Nornor so that I can get 
a couple of things done during the day just a couple of days a week so anyway i'll let you know i'll probably end the vlog um like today's portion of the vlog to right now and i will let you know if we end up spending the evening in that tornado shelter <laughs> let's hope not Good morning guys, it's Thursday and amazing news, we did not have to go into the tornado shelter last night. The tornado kind of weakened as it moved north and um, kind of like hooked west around us. So I haven't watched the news or looked into it yet. I'm hoping there wasn't any, I hope it just broke up and there wasn't any um, real damage or devastation for the other, the folks who live out there. But it's just awful at a time like this to think about. A tornado um, so anyway we are super feeling super grateful this morning because we were just able to hunker down here and go to bed as normal um, I am about to tidy up it's like 10 a.m. Nora and I have been up for a couple of hours just hanging out in bed together because I don't really feel any strong urge to like get up and we've been staying up later especially last night with the tornado so I want to make our bed she's laying in her bassinet over there just chilling out <laughs> I just put her in there so I could make the bed and because um, I was holding her and nursing her. And I'm going to try to wash my face and brush my teeth and put on some fresh clothes. And we're going to start our day. We're going to try to eat some breakfast today around, you know, 10 or 11. O'Reilly's home. Around 10 or 11 instead of like, you know, 3 like yesterday. All right. Nora, you say good morning. Good morning. I'm dressed. I just have jeans on and this is from Pretty Little Monograms. Um, and I just did a little bit of makeup and brushed my hair. Just trying to not feel like I'm in my pajamas 24 hours a day for weeks on end. Um, that's right. That's right. You know what's really cute is if you guys remember way back when, several years ago, when we watched Baby Theo for like a a weekish, five days, something like that. Um, when his parents were away and we stayed, we watched him. Um, he was almost exactly as old as Nora is now. They're like the same age. Um, now he's like two and a half. He's almost gonna be three, which is so weird and crazy. Um, he's the, he's still so cute. He just looks like a grown up version of baby Theo. Um, but. Yeah, it's pretty crazy because now I have a baby of my very own who is, yeah, just about five months old, which is how old Theo Bear was when he stayed here. Norny, you didn't even exist yet. Not yet. Um, anyway, our kitchen's a mess because of the tornado last night. We never got it together, so I want to clean that up, get her dressed. I need to do some laundry and then we'll see where the day takes us. All right, I just finished making some breakfast, so I have a piece of toast, one of those protein blueberry muffins, some sausage that I cooked for a long time, <laughs> some eggs, and um, banana and strawberries. And here we have a happy little baby girl. Are you so happy? Yeah. <laughs> you that? Riley oh. got, recently got home from work and he's playing with Nor Nor. This is tummy time. How's it going? Nora, oh, how's it going? and currently during the quarantine, Riley has decided to do what? Um, trim uh, out a mustache. Yeah, that's how I feel about it too, Nora. I am cooking, heating up some butter and olive oil. And our stove top needs to be clean, so ignore that. I am making, oops, this recipe, which is the um, Carrabba's. If you've ever been to a Carrabba's restaurant, they have a dish there called Chicken Brian. It is one of my very favorite dishes ever of all time. And I'm going to make the version at home. Apparently, this is the original recipe, so I'll link it below. It It's pretty simple. It's like a lemon wine butter sauce with um, like pan fried or grilled chicken with sun dried tomatoes and um, goat cheese. So that seems pretty easy. I'm gonna make it and we'll try it. 
All right, we got our chicken pan frying over here, and then this smells amazing. This is garlic and onion being sauteed in butter, and then I'm gonna add some pasta into that pot in just a second. And then my workspace, as you can see, is very clean, and we have Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> um, this is a mixture of fresh squeezed lemon juice and um, white wine. So that's gonna go in with the garlic and onion. And then, okay, this is just a pretty simple recipe, honestly. It's really just like adding a few things on top of grilled or pan fried chicken plus a lemon butter garlic onion sauce, which sounds great. It smells great in here. Yeah, it smells super good. Nora, what do you think? She's in very, your little overalls. She's These overalls are so cute. Happy and chill. Right now. Yeah, you love being with your dad, dad. Yeah. Oh. This sauce smells so good. It's butter, le fresh, sque fresh squeezed lemon juice, garlic, onion, white wine, sun dried tomatoes, and basil. Oh my gosh, yum. And it's gonna go on top of chicken breasts that have goat cheese on top. Oh, I'm so excited, yum. All right, here is dinner all served up. So we have some penne pasta, some broccoli, and then you can see this delicious sauce. And then under it is the chicken and then the goat cheese, and then it's that yummy, yummy sauce. It smells so, so good. So there's my plate and Riley's, and there's our little precious angel baby. So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy. Good morning, it's Friday. Um, I'm in a stressed out mood right now. I'm on hold with my pharmacy right now and I've been on hold forever because my prescription, I'm on an antidepressant right now. I keep thinking they're almost, they're gonna be ready but they're not um, to talk to me. I'm on an antidepressant right now for postpartum depression and it has made, and it, amazingly massive difference in my mental health day to day. And I feel like it's something that's really important for me right now. And I feel like I'm gonna get emotional talking about this because of what I'm about to tell you. My prescription ran out last week. Well, it was gonna run out like this past Tuesday, I think. So last Tuesday or whatever, I or, or last week I ordered it. And CVS is doing free delivery right now online, um, free in-person delivery so that people don't have to come into the store. So I did free delivery. This is so distracting to me, this wait, this lady is chatting to me on the wait. I knew my prescription was gonna run out sometime this week, so last week or early, I think on Sunday, it was gonna run out on like Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Anyway, whatever, so a few days ago, um, like five days ago, I ordered my refill online and did a, um, did a, a delivery to our home instead of having to go to pick it up at the pharmacy. And they um, say it's delivered and it's just not delivered. Like it's, there's been three days in a row that it's, that I've gotten a notification that have said, that said your prescription's been delivered and none of those days it's been delivered. It's not in the mailbox. I've been literally home full time, 100% of the time. Hold on. Hello there, my name is, okay, I'm so relieved, okay. I was having a hard time telling that story because the they I, they had me on hold and um, the late, you know when you're on hold with a pharmacy and there's like a lady on there just yapping at you and you're like, I can't, I couldn't even think straight. Anyway, the point is I'm on an antidepressant. I need to not skip days. I've now had to skip two days in a row of taking it because I don't have any and um, they said it was delivered, it wasn't delivered, they wouldn't give me more. I called my doctor, she called in more refills, they wouldn't give it to me, they said it was delivered. I'm like, it's not delivered. I'm not trying to hoard antidepressant. I just need one pill a day, <laughs> please give me my medicine. Anyway, so um, I was just getting super stressed out and really, because I feel, you cannot be, t you cannot take a medication like that and then just stop, You that's really unsafe and that's what I essentially, by accident, out of my control have accidentally done. So for the past two days I haven't taken anything and I feel really, really weird. I feel dizzy, I just feel really weird. And like I need my medication and if and when I go off of it, I need to go off of it in a safe way and not just go off of it like that. 
anyway, the point is I've just been extremely stressful um, because I've been calling my doctor and calling the pharmacy and there, I think the system is just really clogged up right now. So it's just been very, very stressful and I am feeling it and I have a headache and I just feel weird. I know people have, you know, extremely important life-saving medications and I'm not taking away from that. I'm just explaining my personal situation, which is that you can't go off a drug like that just in a day. And it's just been a nerve wracking situation. Anywho, I just got off the phone with her and the pharmacist said that it should be ready in the next 30 minutes, that it finally came through and, and all of that. So I don't know where this alleged prescription is that was apparently delivered to my doorstep that is never been delivered. I don't know if it's at a neighbor's house. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but um, I asked her if I could send my husband to pick it up and he, she said yes. So he's gonna go pick it up. Thank God, seriously, because that was um, not super fun. Okay, while Nora's asleep, I'm gonna try to pull myself together here a little bit, both physically, because I'm in a PJ set, and um, mentally, and I'm gonna get my meds, everything's gonna be fine. I was starting to get a little bit panicked because you, because of what I already said. Anyway. <sighs> Can we just take a moment, and I'll take a deep breath, and just agree that this sucks. All right, I took a shower. I feel a lot better. <laughs> I was like working myself up into a frenzy, um, which I think probably a lot of people can relate to. In this day and age, I think a lot of, you know, things that might not seem that big are just seeming really big right now. Anyway, I just got an Instacart delivery. It's the first time I've done an Instacart delivery here. I usually do Walmart grocery pickup, um, but Walmart grocery pickup right now is, um, there are like no spots available. They're only doing two, I think this is like pretty much everywhere. They're only doing two days at a time. And um, with only doing two days at a time, the spots go instantly and I haven't been able to grab one. So I decided to use Instacart instead, which is even more ideal. It's more expensive, but it's even more ideal because they actually drop it off right to your house. So I'm not gonna go through everything. I just kind of pulled it in. I just asked the guy who shopped for me to please um, just leave it on my front porch so that he and I didn't have to I hate to say this so that we didn't have to interact, but you know what I mean in this, in the way things are. A lot of substitutions. I got tons of substitutions. Like I ordered a small thing of garlic and um, got like this giant one because there's just so, so many things that are out of stock, but it was a good little top off. So some cheese, some marinade, lemon. This is like the most critical piece of all. Blue, ba Blue Bell homemade vanilla ice cream. I'm so happy to have some potatoes. We have several recipes that require potatoes and we haven't been able to get them. Lemons and tomatoes, a couple of snacky foods, Cocoa Krispies, totally like comfort food right now. Some dog food for Charlie. Um, I ordered a small orange juice and apple juice and they only had a big one. So anyway, some corn. It's kind of a random assortment because so many things were out of stock, but it's I'm really grateful for it. It'll, it's enough of a top off um, with the meat that we have in our freezer that we can keep, you know, moving forward and cooking. Okay, this is hilarious. So I ordered a bag, like this bag of potatoes, but of onions. And when I order a bag of onions from Walmart, this is what they look like. They're just little, I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyway, you can see, they're just little, little, little onions. And so he... Like when you're, when the Instacart shopper is shopping, it says, um, what's out. And I got a notification that there were no onion bagged onions. So I sent him a text message through the Instacart app and said, if you can find some onions, I'd love six of them picturing this. And then I got this <laughs> like outrageous, outrageous. So I have six massive onions. So I think I'll probably dice several of them up and freeze them, which actually will be great to have diced onion on hand because we use onion all the time. But this little guy seems so small compared to these big. <laughs> no, no. Did you just wake up from a nappy? So she just got up from a nap and I had the chance to blow dry my hair before, um, she woke, I'm trying to stand so that you can't see all the mess in our house. There you go, look how clean our house is. Gotta stay right here in the middle. Um, I have been using, 
Oh, I can't get my hair in my face and it's really hot. I've been using the Revlon One Step Style Blow Dryer, whatever it's called. Also, I have my Homebody Forever shirt on, which is from my Etsy shop which this is probably the most appropriate time in my life to be wearing a Homebody Forever shirt. Anyway, I'm gonna put in some footage that I took um, to put on Instagram um, about using this blow dryer. And um, I'm gonna put that in here because I, now that she's awake, I don't have time to show you more, but I am obsessed with this one step style or blow dryer thing. Like I just got done with it and it just, my hair just gets, it's just fast, my hair is silky and smooth and done, and it feels like a salon blowout, so it's amazing. No one say, it's amazing. It's amazing. Are you just waking up? We are working on our tummy time right now. You getting some tummy time? My top tummy time tip is take their socks off. That is something I learned from an Instagram account called On Track Baby. And the sensory experience of them being able to push their toes down apparently is extremely important for development. So her socks are off and she's just working on it good job this book also this ball she loves i'll link it it's from amazon it was a gift um but i i think i registered for it from amazon and then this thing is from skip hop and she loves it and it comes with a little lammy that sings and this little star has lights and this squeaks and then this is a little mirror um, these are all added and we they're kind of a mess right now, but we kind of add different things hook different things on there So I'll link this ball. I'll link this um, Little play mat thing. We lose it all the time. She loves it. And this book is awesome. This book folds up To be like a normal book, but it's um, It's like a tummy time book and it's black and white and you can see she loves it. She stares straight at it. It's black and white meant for babies because they can see it really well, the high contrast. So I'll link the book as well. I'll link everything that I've mentioned in this vlog. Norner, tell everybody saying, I hope you have a good day and stay safe. She's scratching on that. Doing a good job, sis. I'm gonna pull this arm forward. There you go. There you go. Good job. She's getting there. She's getting better and better at it. Yeah, you're getting better and better at it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I'm gonna link a bunch of things below. All the things I mentioned, I'll link that Revlon One Step blow dryer, anything else that I've talked about, I'll link. I'll link my Etsy shop if you wanna check out this is a really good option for your <laughs> for clothing right now. Um, the Homebody Forever. Let me help. Let's roll over. There you go. That's better. Tummy time in little segments it tends to work well. Um, I'll link everything that I've mentioned. I'll link my Etsy shop. I'm going to link, my, my, this is always linked, but I'm going to link my Instagram because I have been posting on my Instagram a whole lot lately like a, many many times a day on the stories um a lot of like vloggy type things so if you don't already follow me on instagram i would love if you would go follow me on instagram um i also am on facebook so that's always linked below as well if you want to check that out 
trying to think if there's any other housekeeping kind of things. I'm gonna try to post as much as possible here on YouTube because I know we could all use some content other than the news right now. So I'm gonna try to try to do that as much as I can. I think that's just about everything that I wanted to go ahead and mention here, sort of like housekeeping at the end of my vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I'm definitely gonna be back with more. I think I'm gonna just end this vlog and start a new one for the weekend. Um, and so I, I hope to be vlogging quite a bit in these times. Stay safe, everyone. Wash your hands. Um, follow CDC guidelines. Stay at home. If you can, as much as you can, please, please stay at home. Stay safe um, and do the very best you can. I know these are really hard times. So I'm sending lots of love to all of you. I hope you guys are doing well. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.